Yo, what is up guys, and welcome back to McAdies Entertainment. I'm your host as always, Adam McGahee. Within these last few weeks, it has certainly proved to be a great time to be a DC fan. From the explosive four-hour Snyder Cut of Justice League, and now at the newest trailer of the Suicide Squad reboot dubbed The Suicide Squad, fans are very excited to see what this crazy new project directed by James Gunn has in store. You'll notice in this trailer and in the promotional material that the squad team is quite different from what we got in the last movie, aside from Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, and Rick Flagg. The new cast looks absolutely crazy and colorful, and I wanted to dedicate the next series of videos breaking down just who these reluctant new members of the Suicide Squad are. To start off the list, we'll begin with this adorable furry thing right here. You might be wondering just what the heck is this thing and where does it come from? Well, you're in luck, because in today's video, we'll be discussing the origin of DC's most bizarre and obscure character yet, the Weasel. Who is he? Despite his complete animalistic appearance, the weasel is actually a human male named John Monroe who first appeared in issue 35 of the Fury of Firestorm comic back in 1985. In the comic, he started out as sort of a social outcast college student at Stanford University in the late 1960s. His fellow classmates did not really care for him, and when they spoke to him, they'd call him derogatory words like weasel. This caused him to become bitter and deeply resent them. Years later, Monroe became a teacher at Van Diemer University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He noticed here that there were a number of his former classmates from college that held prominent jobs at this school. Thinking that they were a threat to his tenure, yes, a threat to his tenure, Monroe built a costume modeled after the weasel nickname his classmates gave him and proceeded to brutally murder the ones who worked at his school. These murders caused him to have a run-in with the superhero Firestorm, who managed to stop the psychopath and brought him into police custody. He was later broken out of prison and recruited to the Suicide Squad due to his bloodthirsty nature. And that is a brief history of the weasel in DC Comics. He's not a real weasel, just a weaselly man in a weasel costume. It's very possible that this new movie may retcon him into being more of an actual animal, but regardless of what they actually do, he is a true obscure deep cut from DC history, and I'm very excited to see what this new movie has in store. Now what do you think of the Weasel? Did you know this about him? Is there something I missed? What other DC characters would you like to know more about? Sound off in the comments. Also be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and tap the bell icon to be notified of all of our latest videos. Thank you so much for watching. Remember you are awesome and loved, God bless, and I will see you in the next one.